my channel. Today I will show you how to make an easy Haitian patty. I will be using codfish, but you can use whatever you want for the filling. Stay tuned, but before, do not forget to follow me on my Instagram uh, page. It is Annette Door 26. Annette Door 26. Stay tuned. Guys, I just want to show you the salt fish that I'm going to use. Um, this is the. Uh, they have several different packages. Um, these are uh, the fillet uh, saltfish. They don't have any bones in it. Because I'm making a patty with it, I didn't want to use the real expensive one. I, the ones that have the bones so tend to be a little bit more expensive, and I'd rather use that when I'm making saltfish um, by itself. And this is what it looks like. Don't have a camera person. It looks like this. And if you notice, there's a whole bunch of salt on there. So what I do is just under this faucet, I just remove all of the salt from the fish. And then in a pot full of water, you drop your fish in and let it come. Uh, let it boil for about, I would say, 10 minutes to 15 minutes, removing um, the majority of, of your salt. Um, because I'm just going to make maybe like three patties. I'm not using the whole bag. Once they're cooked, I'll show you what I do next. All right, guys. Um, I did add a little bit of oil, and I just wanted to show you. I did put some um, butter in there as well, and not that much butter. Maybe that much. I already put it in, and see, it's not a lot of oil at all. Next thing I will add is my chopped onions. If you notice, I chopped them real small. And to that, I'm going to add my garlic. We're not going to let this burn. We're just going to let it saute just a little bit. So what we're doing now is the filling for our um, patty. Okay? And what I will add to this is just a little bit of tomato paste. And that's optional. You could do this without the tomato paste. But I just want to add a little tomato paste like this. And do this on medium heat, guys. And our salt fish, um, I let it boil for 10 minutes, like I said. And um, turn the stove off. And remove it out of the water. And just put it in some cold water and let it sit for about a couple more minutes. Just remove more salt. And this is our salt fish. Remember, it has all this natural um, flavor in there. The salt is already in there. So I re Remember, you remove some of the salt, but not all of the salt, because you don't want to go ahead and try to add more salt back in. So basically, you're just going to um, smash your codfish into small pieces. And the only thing I'm going to flavor this with is natural ingredients. You definitely have to put your black pepper in. So we're going to drizzle in some black pepper like that. And also your scotch bonnet because it has to have a little spiciness to it. But I didn't cut the seeds in. And also I do have some parsley. And then we do have your thyme. But the thyme, I'm going to just remove it from the stem because we don't want the stem in our filling. Okay? Like that. Okay? Basically, you're just going to get this a nice coat. You smash everything together. And then you just let it all marry. Because you don't want too much uh, oil in there because you don't want it to um, make your dough uh, soggy. So I just wanted enough oil just so we can fry everything. And I'm going to let this sit on the stove for maybe about a minute more and then I'll come back and show what I do next. Right, guys, I'm cheating because it takes so long to make the... Um, the dough from scratch so we're going to use this puff pastry sheet um, 
it comes with two it was connected like this but I just went ahead and just slice it and you will see they do have some lines here also just take your knife and just come to separate them so it depends on the size of the patty I will make them I will make them just regular squares but if you're having a dinner party and you want to um, use patties as a appetizer just go ahead and slice them just a little smaller so this way um, they won't have a big piece of uh, patty all right guys here is our mixture if you look if you notice I don't know if you can see it it is not dry it is very um, moist so what I will do I was I will add some in the middle like this okay let me put a little bit more because that's one issue we have at the Haitian bakeries they do not add enough meat but because we're making this at home you can add as much or as little okay you add it like this and then you come around and then you just fold it just kind of hit the sides okay like this and just make sure you just hit it down so it won't all right guys I just want to quickly show you um, see these there's only one layer of dough so once you bake them you know they're a little bit thin but if you want your dough to be a little thick all you have to do is add the other half and then kind of seal it together like this and it becomes one and then you do the same thing just add some of your meat in like that okay so it's going to give you a nice thicker um, patty okay and then you just close it in like that okay alright guys you just spray it like this just to give it a light coat nothing um, big and what I also like to do is just to take a napkin and just remove the extra oil because you don't want your patty to be greasy on the bottom okay so it's perfect and what I will do at this point is just add my patties into our bowl. One, two. Let's do them this way. Three, four. Okay. It's okay if they touch, they're fine. Okay. And the next thing you want to do is get some egg with a little bit of um, milk and then you use up your egg wash just to brush the top like that and the whole reason you're brushing your top is to make sure um, that it's nice and brown gives it a nice color by the time it's over it um, and I did mention I don't know if I mentioned that the oven has to be preheated so you preheat it as you're doing this at 400 degrees and then we will cook these for 15 minutes and if you ha if you look at the package they'll give you those same instructions as well okay so once it's done I'll go ahead and show you what these look like alright guys here is the final product this is our patties if you notice it has a nice color on the top and you do that by brushing the egg wash on um, and also I just wanted to show you the difference in the patties if you notice this one is the one that we use with a single dough okay it's kind of smaller and this one here is the one we use with the double dough okay it's a little thicker so it, it all depends on you if you want your patties thicker or smaller 
you can either use one layer or both layer. And another thing, you do not have to make a saltfish patty. You can also use ground beef to make a beef patty. Or um, they also sell um, ground tur um, turkey, ground chicken, or you could just use some Aaron. Um, my two favorites is saltfish or the Aaron. Until next time, please like, comment, and do not forget to subscribe.